All right, so just tell me about that at bat in the bottom of the seventh there, your approach there, and did you think it was gone when it, you hit it? Um, my approach was just to see a good pitch, uh, be on time, and I went up to the I went up to the plate just like wanting to have Sarah's back. Sarah threw just an absolutely amazing game. Like she does pretty much every game for us. She always has the team's back, so I just wanted to go up there and have her back as well. Uh, when I hit it, well, I knew the wind was blowing that way, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sky a ball into left field, and I'll let the wind carry it. I thought I had a little bit more carry, but you know, it's okay. I scored a run, so. What was your mindset when you were told that you had you were going up? Um, I've been practicing. We've been doing pinch hitting a lot. That's been a big role for me this year. So I just had a very clear intention. Just you know, see you can pitch to hit, be on time. That's pretty much all it is um, when you boil it down. So that was just my approach, my plan is to um, follow the plan that the coaches have given us. Another one run loss. That's not a weird one. Um. Yeah, it's definitely tough. Uh, you know, it just means that there's little things that we can fix and just got to keep getting better every day. When you, when you get end up getting that, get that run, is th that run just what was your mindset now go, going in? Because you, it's like, all right, we got one halfway. It's just cut just that deficit in half. Keep chipping away. It only takes one. I mean, you know, technically the winning run was at home plate. So it only takes one. I mean, if you're not so worried about the outcome of the pitch and you focus on the process of hitting it, um, you can string things together. So that's what I hope the, that was the plan. What, what about your skill set makes you adept to, because you mentioned you were practice pinch hitting, so what about your skills that makes you adept to that kind of role? Um, I have a lot of experience, you know, this is a fifth year senior, so it's not the first time I played Oklahoma, it's not the first time that I've played top 10 teams. Um, I feel very prepared. My, our coaches have prepared us and prepared me like very, very well. So I give all the credit to them. They've done a really great job. What? You, you went toe to toe with Oklahoma. What does that say to the team now as you go into that Sunday game? Um, it just means that we have more in us. always have a chance to win. When you lose a game like this, you, you mentioned it, you see little things, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see little things. Um, all we can do is be better. All I can do is be more accountable to hold myself and everyone else to a high standard. Senior, senior day tomorrow, does it get, end up giving you guys an extra bit of motivation to try and get one more win with one more game here at the Plex? You know, senior day to me, and maybe I can't speak for everyone else, but senior day to me just means going out and playing for the reason that I've played for the last 20 years or 15 years, you know, 23 years old, but you know, um, I'm going to go out tomorrow and play the love of the game. And I'm going to go play for the reason of like just loving the game and loving the process. And, you know, regardless, yeah, I want to win every day, but, um, I'll do myself justice as a senior and we'll do ourselves justice as a senior if we continue to love the process of playing the game and not just the glory of the outcome. What do you take with you from today into tomorrow? Um, we've seen two other pitchers, you know, they have a few more, but all we gotta do is stay disciplined to what we need to do and keep supporting each other, um, have each other's backs, you know, have our pitchers backs and if we do that then I'm sure today, I mean tomorrow, could be a really great day as well. Best of luck, Sonic. Thank you. Thanks so much. I'm sorry.